Hey guys, welcome to DIY Crafts. In this video, I am going to show you how to crochet these beautiful Christmas bell ornaments, which can be later used as a key holder. So let's get started. For this, I am using a cotton four ply yarn with a crochet hook of size three mm. Now let us begin by making a slip knot. Now make chain four. That's one, two, three, and four. Now make a slip stitch into the first chain to form a ring. Now let's start working row one. Make chain one, and start making single crochets into the center. Make eight single crochet stitches into the center. That's the second one. Three. Four, five, six, seven, and finally the eighth one. This project is going to be worked in spirals, so no need to do a slip stitch here. So directly insert the hook into the first stitch and make a single crochet increase. That means two single crochet stitches going into the same stitch. Now put a stitch marker into the first stitch to mark the beginning of the second row. We have already done the first increase. Now continue to make increases in each and every stitch throughout the row until you reach the starting point. In case you are looking for the written pattern, please check the description of the video. Also, please subscribe to my channel. Now here I am working the last increase of second row. Now after completing this, remove the stitch marker and by the end of the second row, we will have total of 16 single crochet stitches. Now make one single crochet stitch in the next stitch and put the stitch marker back in place to mark the beginning of third row. Now into the next stitch, make single crochet increase. Now repeat the pattern. 1 single crochet and 1 increase again 1 single crochet and 1 increase repeat this throughout the row until you reach the starting point now here I am making the last increase of the third row and now by the end of the third row we will have 24 single crochet stitches now remove the stitch marker and make 1 single crochet stitch into the next stitch now put the stitch marker back in its place and then make one single crochet stitch in each and every stitch until you reach the starting point and repeat this pattern of one single crochet in each stitch until you complete 14 rows and you are going to get the bell shape after completing all the 14 rows. Here I am making the last single crochet stitch of the 14th row and this is the shape of a bell. Now remove the stitch marker and let's start making the 15th row. Now put the stitch marker back in place after making the first single crochet stitch. Now in the next stitch make one other single crochet stitch and then make one increase. That is two single crochet stitches into the same stitch. Now repeat this pattern of two single crochet stitches and then an increase throughout the row until you reach the starting point. Now make the last increase of row 15 and this completes your 15th row with 32 single crochet stitches. Now remove the stitch marker and let's start making the 16th row. Make one single crochet stitch in the next stitch and put the stitch marker back in place. Just make one single crochet stitch in each and every stitch throughout the row until you reach the starting point. Which means by the end of the 16th row also, we will have 32 stitches only. This helps to take a nice shape of our bell ornament. Now make the last single crochet stitch of the 16th row. And remove the stitch marker. Let's start making the 17th row. Make one single crochet stitch and put the stitch marker back in place 
to mark the beginning of the 17th row now skip the next stitch and in the later stitch make a shell stitch of 5 dc's into the same stitch that's the first dc second one third dc fourth dc and finally the fifth dc into the same stitch here is the shell shape now skip the next stitch and in the later stitch make one single crochet stitch now we are going to repeat this pattern of skip one stitch and five dc's into the next stitch that's again the first one second third fourth and finally the fifth one again skip the next stitch and in the later stitch make one single crochet stitch now alternate between the shell stitch and single crochet stitch by leaving one stitch in between until you reach the starting point here i am making the last shell stitch into the last before stitch again this 5 dc's into the same stitch to create the shell shape that's the fourth one and finally the fifth one now into the first stitch remove the stitch marker and as we have already begin with a single crochet stitch we just need to make a slip stitch into that first stitch now chain one and trim the excess thread by leaving a little long tail end and then weave in this end and let's start to make the key holder for this have a look at the shape of our bell ornament gorgeous isn't it do share a comment so that i'll get to know whether you guys are enjoying my patterns or not okay fine now let's put this aside and let's work on the tail required for the key holder again with the same yarn and the hook begin with a slip knot and make chain 6 3 4 5 and 6 now make a slip stitch into the first chain and this forms the key ring for our key holder now make a chain until you have the height of our bell shape just a random count but in general we can say it up to chain 10 just check it by putting it over the bell so it's almost the height of our bell shape so now i'm making two chains of extra to add the bead just chain two now i'm going to insert the bead into this chain i'm taking the same color and this is how i add beads into the crochet chain and now chain one to fasten and then make another chain two to place this bead at the center on the top of our bell now leave ch two chains on the other side of the bead and into the third chain make a slip stitch continue to make slip stitches throughout the chain until you reach the starting chain six just one slip stitch in each and every stitch until you reach the chain after making the last slip stitch make chain one and trim the excess thread by leaving a little long tail end now weave in the ends and attach this to the bell ornament to make it a key cover or a key holder or let's even say make it as a keychain now insert the needle through the center grab the chain six and pull it down through the center until you have the bead at the top of our bell ornament now in this key ring we are going to insert our keys through this metallic key ring as shown insert it carefully and take care of your fingers while doing this 
and that's it our beautiful christmas bell ornaments are ready to decorate our christmas tree and later these can be used as a key holder this is the best gifting option that you can give to your dear ones for this christmas so what are you waiting for grab your needle and yarn and let's make some bells hope you all enjoyed watching this tutorial do give this pattern a try and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below see you all in the next video thank you for watching please like the video share it and subscribe to DIY Crafts.